because mm -hmm. he's been experimenting. Okay, I he's see, been learning. That's how you learn. You oh, learn through failure. What did Edison mm. say? Fuck you, Tesla. And I also failed a lot. All right. Those are the two takeaways <laughs> from Edison. Matter. And Parker's going to channel that energy today. Okay. All right. I I want to agree with you, but while we see Parker just losing a lot of pubs, I want to comment on our boy Jay Mari here. When he started playing for the qualifiers, he was ranked 60 on uh, on the letterboards. He is, oh as of now, ranked 12, <laughs> which is about 10,000 MMR points. Five okay? Seconds, okay. This 10, guy... 10,000. Literally 10,000. Literally 10,000. He went from a kind of silly, doofy boy just feeding on his left track to a solid, uh, like, actually incredible mid laner. I, I, I want to say... While Black Soul is my like revelation player for Division Two, I think Jay Mari right now is the best mid player in Division Two. So it's gonna be. Oh, I, I really want to see how oh. the matchup against Migi goes because uh, okay. I think Jay Mari is a couple Dying. of tiers ahead of him. Yeah, you're probably right. I, I think Miggy's looked stable, but not you know on on like god tier levels, kind of like you're uh -huh. describing. So that, that's oh, yeah. fair you enough. Keep, uh, you keep trying with Jay Mari. I don't know, man. I feel like he's like in my third place. Wait, uh, who's, who's, who's who are your one and two? Yeah, yeah, mini and alone. Ten seconds. Right uh, okay, okay, okay. I actually forgot about mini. I actually would go <laughs> J Murray <laughs> mini. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think, and then Black Soul as a third mini one. Like he has a lot of potential, but wow, Black no Soul. respect on our boy alone. I Alone's mean, some solid games. Uh, I remember his morphling. I, 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 I just, I can't that let game. that go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Well, this ogre, um, though, they really like it on universe. Yeah, they love the ogre, but also the Great juggernaut team. and enigma first phase bands, both a, a little bit atypical Dying here team. from Omega, but they will go with a very standard opener, Mars snap fire. Uh, no centaur available, so this is about as good as it gets, I say. Yeehaw. Okay. That's what snap fire says. Yes, it is. It's a good line. It's uh, one of the better, like, hero gets picked. I mean, I feel like this was missing from Dota before she arrived. I think Snapfire is, uh, has truly been a great addition to Dota. Both in, in terms of mechanics, it kind of blows my mind that the frog continues to find these unique hero concepts that are so well-designed. I think Snapfire has kind of proven the test of time. Would you guys agree? Fun to watch, oh, yeah. fun to play, a lot yeah, of yeah. flexibility. Not uh, super moments broken. Where she was... Moments it feels like she one was, of those heroes now that could good. be like six years old, right? Because uh, yeah. a lot of the new heroes, they were like super flashy with like weird mechanics. And that fire looks like a kind of timeless hero. And I really like that about her. And lore wise, like well, maybe not lore, but like aesthetic wise, at least. I like that uh, we're diversifying the characters. We're getting out of the archetype of female animes that are, you know, overly tall and kind of Barbie doll shaped. Mm. I like that Just we got for the persona in here. The persona's uh, gonna be smoking hot, <laughs> roaring twenties grandma, fresh well, out of the depression. Okay. You know. <laughs> no, what the I actually want to see is just let <laughs> her hair hot down. Hot Mortimer, all right. Mortimer is the hot one. Yeah, now well, I, I like Mortimer. He he's uh, he's adorable. I love the tongue hanging out. I love that he's cross-eyed. There's a lot. I, he's got the pigeon toes as well. There's a lot of really great and kind a of derpy nuances to Mortimer that makes him just uh, a timeless, lovable character in the Dota universe. True. I mean, every time I see inverse drafting, it's it's so weird. Like they ban the centaur. Like usually, if you do that, you would pick the Mars, but then they give Mars away, and like you pick ogre. It, it really feels like they play on a different plane. But I I'm curious to see what happens because I've seen really wonky drafts from them that worked. It's just completely different from what we're used to. I mean, they won their last series just first picking ogre. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, this gyrocopter, I have I have uh, clear memories of Parker playing this hero. It didn't really work out that well, but I think it's a good hero versus Mars because you can play from afar, uh, less likely to get speared in the lane. And they have flexed Maybe. it to the five as well before. So, yes. I mean, it's yes. unlikely. Well, actually, it is likely with the ogre for these guys because we're assuming it's the three ogre again, but... Oh, true. Oh, that was actually really dope. I, yeah. I, uh, that game was amazing. Did he play it both games or just only one, right? I think only one. I think. Yeah, and then he played DP the second game, I think. But uh, it was it was legit strong. It was like Wyvern Timber that it kind of messed up Ten real hard. Mm -hmm. remaining. Yep. Okay. I think underrated. I think if I had said three Ogre doing that build a week before that, you guys would have laughed me out of the room. Uh, yes, I would have. Yes. And I think it's, I still would have been right.
And look at that. And dude, they're going to do it again just to prove you wrong. They're going to beat Omega with it just to prove my uh, 50 50 prediction correct here, Trent. I can feel it. I'm on the pulse today, man. This gyro is just the B. I don't like gyro very much. So I'm already starting to feel a little shaky, but we'll see. I see. I just hope that, uh, you know, for Theban's heart's sake, RZNT is a little bit more uh, conscious with his Midas usage because I remember mm -hmm. Theban getting very Five upset about the way he was remaining. using Midas uh, on those large camps, you know? could have. Oh, uh, he wasn't, like, going for the waves or whatever? Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. He yeah. could have tripled Midas. But, yeah, that's uh, not okay. You had to go for the big ones. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, so Oracle here? Yeah, I'm I'm still not in on the uh, the five snap as much as other teams, so it'll just be the other save. Classic stuff here, Omega mm -hmm. following the meta. Although hard to argue with any of this. This is yeah, super meta from them. I like Abba versus Ogre also. All right, cleanse the ignite. Yep. All right. So they Smash much... Brothers. I what? guess Jared could still be support just because of that Ogre. So that's that's nice. Yeah. Uh, I think there was just a question. Like every four was available. Last time it was the lion they used, but it's not really a great lion game. They could have went for the Nyx Assassin or the Earth Spirit. So I think it's kind of interesting they went for the Tusk. Uh, I guess just. I mean, like... I like this though because if it's Ogre three, you have Bloodlust tag team. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty pretty solid. Huh. It's happening, Trent. It's happening. <laughs> Is there a better ranged hero to go with it though? To go with the Tusk uh... instead. You know, like at this point, do you want gyro one? That should be your main question, right? You see Mars invoker and uh, probably a four snap. I mean, it's OK, I guess you, you just go early BKB on gyro anyways. But... Admiral Conka. Oh, I mean, they're mid first. Good match versus the Conka. Dude. This is yeah. not meta, but this is this. I think this is legit. I think the Conka is kind of meta. He just gets banned a lot. Oh, yeah. You know, he's a second phase band very regularly. Mm -hmm. I don't have the numbers, but I have the memories. We've also seen it banned um, by teams facing inverse before. Five so seconds. I'm just going to assume they've got a good Kanka. OK, this you is a, a, like really a very common front band. line, though. You know, Ogre, Tusk, Kanka, you can kind of just run at people. And it's not like Omega or Squishy, but they're they're going to be able to be pretty brave in the mid game as well yeah. as the laning phase and invoker is pretty squishy i think that he's a hero that matters a lot so yes true it's already a really good matchup for the kunkha mid that was a what? very good void ban <laughs> yeah. you do not want chrono with these heroes that would be terrifying yeah yes yeah, maybe nope. Ban Troll. He's been one of our go-to, just like safety carries. He's kind of replaced at the beginning of the season. I was saying Terrorblade fit this role, and now I kind of feel like it's turned into Troll. So like, mm. I don't know. Nothing looks amazing. Yeah, Troll, he's stable. Yeah. He is. He's solid. He goes Roche. He takes buildings. Now, I'm just wondering if Omega thinks Axe is really strong or if they just don't know about his ogre, if they didn't watch that series. I don't have chances here. I would guess they know. They, they're they just yeah. like, you know, they have... Although they have an ABBA 5, so why are you banning Axe? Exactly. Hmm. Um, I guess it kind of goes both ways. It's still, like, kind of annoying, just because you can shield off the uh, the uh, hunger. He can still just, like, run at you as Axe. And with, with a Tusk, you'll still just die, so... <laughs> true, true, true. Uh, so, Mega, they need a carry. They're going to have last pick. I mean, they're in a good position here. They're going to... I don't think there's that many carries banned. They can probably go, I guess, Lifestealer looks pretty good versus Kunk and Jaro. Man, I tell you, I would actually, if I was on Inverse, I would want a Nyx Assassin. If they really want to make this Ogre the three, they could probably oh. play the Tusk or the Nyx as five. And I actually think it works with their lineup because they have the uh, the damage reduction from the Kunkka and the Carapace is crazy good this game. Yep, it really is. I wonder if Omega is going to ban it. It definitely Radiant makes sense. Team ban. That do, sir. Just some okay. biggins. I mean, they yeah, can't you counter got, it. You got the alacrity. You got some shields. I, I could see that being scary. This makes you think that the gyro is probably a one and the ogre is probably a Dyer five, though. Team pick. Yeah. They take the tide hunter. Um, Offlaner, solar crest builder, auras. Helps take Roche, that sort of style, probably. Underlord. Eh. Mm, you don't but want an Underlord S hero. I think you want a range hero. 
Is Vino decent here? Five yeah, Vino's fine. Remaining. I really want them to five the gyro and pick a carry. Yeah, I, I, I also want the same thing. I, I want them to just pick troll right now and just lean it with the gyro. I like this actually. I think it's really good because of uh, you have range on yeah, the Mars. Yeah, versus Mars, right? Okay, yeah. they go Sand King. So it looks like this will be their off laner, and it is indeed the one gyro. Yeah. All right. Trent gets it. PL Conventional. Is open. Ugh. So that's probably why they went Sand King. I this guess. is so vanilla. Yes, it is. I like the heroes, though. I, I do individually like Five everyone except Gyro remaining. on the side of Inverse. They have a lot of time left, though. So what's what about Alacrity pick? Bristle? I actually think huh. Bristle's insane this game. They don't do anything to Bristle. Kunkka uh, is a, a potential Shadow Blade buyer, but... Is yeah. Omega the team that played carry Bristle already? I don't know. Do they? Mm, I don't... Maybe once? Uh... Doesn't really scream Mingate. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't see it now. Uh, um, I think they just need a Sunjin Yasha here on side of Mega Gaming. Like, uh, Tro is fine versus Sand King. Uh, <laughs> Troll's probably the best one left. Everyone else is banned. Yeah. I actually prefer Life Stealer, but Tro is fine. Like, you just well, farm, get the BKB. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, GG. There you go. Uh, I've been seeing Suns fan win a lot on Life Stealer, so it's given me a lot of confidence in the hero. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't be fooled. fooled. No, like Life seriously, good, like he just walks at them and clicks them, and I'm just like, man, this is just working. <laughs> like, yep. they're just dying, <laughs> and they can't and kill pubs, him. And, yes. he, and he heals. Well, it's just like you just see the matchups, and then you're just like, God, he just heals for so much. It just takes like that one mistake from the enemy, and they're walking yeah. away without their spells, and Life Stealer just eats them. What about PA? Yeah, I was gonna say PA. Is I, PA I like nuts here? I know we don't love her, but yeah, Invoker Abba, it enables. Yeah. I'm just saying, Bristle is really busted here. All right. I agree. No, I, I just don't think they're going to pick it. <laughs> I, I actually think it's right. good. How about the counter spell? Can we go Annie Mage? Can we go Hype? Hype Dodo? Uh, oh. Can we go the king. All right. This is boring. <laughs> boring, but stable. When, when, they, hmm. when they first banned the Faces Boy, my first thought was just like, they're just literally going to pick Raid King to just get a stun on all this stuff. Because like, <laughs> it's either that or Sven, right? And they're not going to pick Sven. But Raid King's so boring. But, but oh, the stun sets up for everything. Yeah, I mean, I think it, the, these are two boring drafts. Omega is the better team. <laughs> I think they're gonna take this game one. Cause they're they gonna have a lot of these boring drafts. It wow. is very boring, but it's JMR Evoker. He's gonna press Sun Strike, and uh, they're gonna get kills. And I don't think Inverse, like yeah, besides Tusk, there's no saves. Bowie, I think we're going three games. I don't know whether it's game one or game two that Inverse is going to drop, but I'm a full-on believer today. All right, mm. the Parker Gyro, the Meggy Kunkka, let's go. All right, they're flexing this ogre. Who's that other team? Flexing the Viper. All right, these guys are the ogre flexors. I like <laughs> it. I'm, I'm going to ride or die with Inverse today. I'm going against the king. Hmm. Nah, I'm going all king here, I think. <laughs> Their lines are just really yeah, good, man. No. Inverse, if this was 741, you know, this could have been a really good draft. It's not a bad draft in our patch, but right. I don't think it's better than Omega's. All right, but if Omega botch initiations and they get the boat off, these guys are all insanely tanky. And they have a lot of, like, low cooldown spells. So have I have some faith boat. in Inverse. Personally, Source. I would favor Omega, but they have a path to the victory. I feel okay. you. So you think Omega is the clearly better team, Trent? You expect them to just take this series by virtue of uh, just a, a little I mean, bit of a skill yes. mismatch. But that has uh, not okay. proved to be the way to watch lower division SA. So who knows? Exactly. Right. I, I know we have to throw it to the casters, but can we actually just talk about how this Kunkka is literally Slaughter wearing a hat and it really upsets me? I can't, what, can you we... mean the, the cosmetic set? You're not a fan? <laughs> Yeah, but it's slaughter. slaughter. It is well, literally slaughter. It's uh, what is his name? Something. Davy, Davy Jones. Jones. Yeah, the Kraken. The I mean, yeah. yes. from okay. Pirates. It, uh, All right. I don't know. It well, me. we'll, we'll toss it, and then we'll let production zoom in here on Davy Jones Light. He's a mixture of the Kraken and all sorts of other figures. Gary hmm. Theban, uh, welcome back, gents. Game number one of the day. Are we fresh and are we ready? The Ogre Flex. Am I overhyping this or what's happening here? Theban, I need some help. Well, oh, Ogre. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, um, 
I think Ogre Flex is a great hero. Uh, why, why not? We've seen it already being played as the offlane, and it did so much yeah. work. We saw that Arcane Boots hood into Midas. Then we had the Midas tracker going, which was awesome. <laughs> and then we he bought like Guardian Greaves, and it was a bonkers hero. So I love it. Um, I'm not so sure how I feel about it against a Baden, though, because that hero just kind of removes Ignite uh, and the stun, and it's just really annoying in general to play Ogre into that. Then you really are a bloodlust bot. That is literally your only purpose is to serve bloodlust to your uh, your gyro in this case. Anyway, yeah, but, but yeah, we'll I, be I don't seeing know, it, right? Saying... In this game, yeah. the ogre buddy, it's gonna be position five. Yeah, the little butler. Oh, they find ZXC, force the cookie to the high ground, gets away from there. Homing missile is gonna chase. It looks like they want to catch him. Lissax forced to God's rebuke. What's the next? What's the next move though? Like, do you want to level up Torrent as Kunker? Not really. <laughs> you no. can't. You can't catch that a snap. That feels bad, man. You level up Torrent, you're pretty much signing away your game. Exactly. Right there. Okay. It's like a deal with the devil. First blood it's for like, level one Torrent. No, thank you. It's definitely Miggy in, in Team Comms saying, "I'm, I'm not doing it, guys. I'm, I'm no, 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 no. You know I'm what I do? Torrent. I'll, I'll tell you right now. Okay. If you see me going to a game and level one. Um, okay, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait for this bounty room play, and I'll yeah, tell Flax you. Might be in trouble. Surrounded by three heroes. Wraithfire blast down the cookie, overlapping a little bit there, but the backstab from Thugger means they I will take make down it to that the task, but they got the oh, bounty boy. runes. So three for He's one, because Arzant came in and took that bottom one. Yeah, he kind of just ran up in there. He, I, I think he even knew they were probably all sitting there. He's like, I don't care, I'm going for this bounty. They still got three for themselves, which is kind of nice, but... Losing the tusk kind of kind of offsets that. So yeah, even in my team, like playing in the DPC, if anybody goes like, "Oh, can we kill for? Can we get first blood with this spell?" You know what I'd be like? I'm like, "Nope." And then I skill instantly right then and there the skill that I need for the lane. And I'm like, "I'm not throwing this game." <laughs> and then I skill it. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, <laughs> lane spell is way more important. Oh, it's, it's actually on both side lanes. Let's say it looks like yeah, the Mars in a lot of trouble. Is that gyro ogre just chase him down? Equally, bottom lane, they, they start off with this, you know, Burrow Strike tag team. Get on top of that Abaddon very quickly. And they do trade out a ton of regen early on. So, wait, we're starting out with a bloodbath already. Mm, it's so scary. It's so scary to play in this lane. Uh, if you don't, like, be careful with where the ogre is coming from. He's just going to keep running from the back, get the double ignite on you. And if you go on him with your snapfire, it's not going to do too much. And why does again? it? Why, yeah, he doesn't have that much mana though on the gyrocopter. Why do you think they were they're losing this lane so hard level one like this? Like normally we would see Mars and Snapfire do okay, right? I just got level two quicker. Nope, no? it's the little Shredder. He doesn't have it. He's got the Fire Snap Cookie level one, so they don't really have any pressure put onto Inverse. So that level one first blood have... technically got the Mars kill. Oh yeah. I mean, how, how are they not level two on this ogre yet? I guess he's very close. Well, I would have expected with a with a kill, especially. Mm -hmm. He just uh, he's moved it all to the out gyro. of the lane. You know, he's in the right place where he just like gives the gyrocopter all the XP he can. He's only coming in for the uh, kills, and he's like blocking the big camp and stuff. And you normally miss out on a lot of creep XP when you're doing this stuff. Well, he's gonna feel the pain of that little shredder now, with the blight stone as well. This yeah. Slaw has to back up. Yeah, it's been a, a rough time for Lissex Mars. Still getting some decent CS, but it's, it's not not easy. It's not comfortable. How, how's that mid lane going? The one we haven't looked into is there's lots of aggression in the side lanes. It feels like so far pretty even between the two mids. Yeah, I think uh, this lane should favor Kunkka for the most part. Because he's got a little bit more damage. And then later on, he's going to be able to X mark the Invoker if he ever uses a Tornado. But Jamari, you know, he is a top 20 ranked player in NA. Oh, second. King. King. Yeah. Got all caught up. Right, oh. Blast 1 1 1 build from Mingate with a big old yeah. crit. And look and at the Thugger build from Baden, well. something you've been, yeah, you've been calling for that build the past couple of days. Exactly. Finally get to I see mean, it. And now you can finally see a Baden actually win a lane, Gary. That's mine. That's amazing. I don't think we I don't think we've actually seen a Baden win any lanes. And this is like probably the first time they've got a kill. And that's because he's got Orb of Venom and he's got the curse. He is against two melee heroes, so it's a little bit better as well. 
And uh, it's doing a lot of work right now. So it's gonna be able to just pull. Wraith King gets solo XP in the lane now and farm. He's pretty much free farming at this point. Great lane for Omega bottom. Yeah, Tusk, you know, trying to contest us a bad one, but it's a level 3 thugger already. Two points on that shield. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. Gante's gonna bring that wave back closer to his tower. 17 and 2, but. And Gyro equally having a, a good farming time top. They're not able to get any more kills onto this Snap and Mars, though. You see Lissex and ZXC, both level 3. And they offer a lot of damage and that jump that could catch the Gyro off guard. Yeah, I guess you kind of just ignore the Ogre in this lane, don't you? You will probably hit him a few times, though, because he's the only one that's actually close enough. If the Snapfire were to go in onto Jarkopter with the low Shredder, then Slaw might just come from the back, pop the Ignite, and just run on top of you, so... He's still gonna have to go on the Ogre. And Ogre is actually surprisingly squishy against low Shredder. He loses all of his armor. So you do have the potential to be able to kill him, too. We'll contest this pull to start off. It looks like they've TP'd the Tusk into mid, though, and that snowball towards Jamari. Good tornado. Does he get Ghost to walk off? He's limited on mana, and the TP from Badlands not going to save him. Flax and Miggy pair up, and that's a pretty big wave that they're going to deny the majority of the creeps from also. Well, mm -hmm. Sam King forced the TP away from the bottom lane, leaving a couple of skeletons stranded AFK in the jungle. <laughs> I'm very surprised that uh, Dugger didn't TP right away. Oh, yeah, I see those skelly boys. Ooh. They've angered something now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freedom! I wonder why they do that. Why some, I saw one the other day get stuck outside the Roche pit. Sometimes they just kind of get lost. Lost in the woods, are you? <laughs> yeah, a little bit lost. Well, maybe they're like ants, you know? They kind of track things with pheromones and scent. They lose the, lose the trail as top lane spear onto the ogre to send him back away from the Mars. But that rocket barrage, Parker. Brings Lissex low, but they've all got pretty hefty sticks with tons of charges, so they turn on the Snapfire, who doesn't? Fairy Fire at the ready, a salve as well, but no cookie to jump away. A good spear catches the Gyro. Slaw ignites ZXC, but that little there Shredder turned around with the God's Rebuke. Finally bringing down the Ogre, but Lissex, he's gone too Ooh. far forward to try Used and get that missile. kill. The tree block, he used a little tree drop. Try and remove the vision, but it's a double kill for the Gyro with that homing missile. Well, down bottom in the Sandstorm, the Sand King snowballed in on the Thugger, so they get the kill while the Mingate Wraith King will be able to claim the life of the SK. Just about gets mana for reincarnation, too. So Flax can't get the pause one kill. Both carries are doing extremely well now. I mean, Jarcopter got the double kill there, got plenty of XP from that Wraith King as well. Oh, Kunker. Kunker uh, this is a reincarnation, Torrent. though. It does catch him. I mean, they get, what, we're going to kill him once with that Tidebringer and then think again. about the boat now? Yeah, just leave him be. Alright, this is this is them, uh, how do you call it? Seasoning the Wraith King. Right? Let him simmer now and then you come back for him in a bit. You got three so you're, minutes. You're kind of in his head. He's, he's stewing in his own thoughts. Like, oh, I don't have reincarnation anymore. I'm going to be careful and passive as the Mars. He's not got his Snapfire buddy anymore. Raindrops and stick charges, but that's not going to help you through the stuns of Slaw. Yeah, we see uh, Zika just TP bottom because of that play that Kunkka just made. So forcing some kind of rotation from Omega. That's really nice from Miggy because here on reasons. top of getting that reincarnation already. And that just makes Mars feel really sad. He's uh, level 5 only. He can't really make any rotations with Arena or anything like that. Yeah, it's super sad. Oh, great power strike. Yeah. Gets away from the cookie. So, and Psyche has a Vanguard. What? Oh, what? <laughs> I mean, this is something... Seven and a half minute Vanguard, yeah. I, I've been theory crafting, like... If you play offlane, you should probably buy Vanguard on every hero. Like, that's my theory. And, you know, Arzen's doing it. Let's see how it goes with this Vanguard. Because it's so cheap and it provides so much. It's incredibly good. Yeah, what was what was Bowie saying? I remember him having this exact conversation on the panel as well, and I think he was talking about Zai Pudge, where Zai is just playing every hero offlane and buying Vanguard, like like you're saying, oh, okay. and really, really pushing the you know the limits of the item, yeah, to the full extent. Yeah, maybe it's like the it new it's like it's the new Necro book. Yeah, for offlaners, don't know what to buy. Just buy Vanguard. Up. Yeah. All right, it lets you jungle, lets you play aggressive under tower, does so many good things. I'll buy Vanguard on my position for a Dragon Knight. Oh, That's yeah? That's next. Yep. 
That's the build. That's the build. We're still waiting for this Jamari Invoker to really crack this map open, make a play. You know, he's been in that mid lane for a while, hasn't really rotated or TP'd. And he does move top, but then sees the Kunker sanking bottom, so TP with a Tornado EMP. Catches the both of them, and now Sand King is going to have to pop his stick to try and borrow a strike away from here. They torrent the Wraith King, and remember, there's no reincarnation on Mingate, so this boat going to crash onto him, surrounded with three heroes. Nice miss coil, the shields keeping him alive, but the burst strike back in. They turn to the little shredder, but Wraith King's dead. Jamari's still struggling to find a single hero that they can kill, and they abandon. Stranded! RZMT! He is under a sentry, but he's got another burrow in a second. If he wants to get out of there, he's going to drop. Finally, one kill for Omega, but they're going to lose so much in the trade off. The, the snowball. It is counteracted by a great tornado. Now, Flax and Miggy under this tower. Another X mark onto Jamari. He's got that quad going. Flax. He's healing up. Slaw rotates in now. The Ogre Magi has arrived. Jamari with a double kill, though. Gets Miggy and loses his life. They're still going to go for this. Another TP back in. Mingati's respawned. He wants Flax. <laughs> It looks like the Tusk is too speedy with his Tranquil Boots. A little cookie, a little shred of play onto the Ogre. Slaw has another Fire Blast and a few Wand Charges. Everybody down in that bottom lane battling it out. Mm -hmm. He's just going to push that out. And meanwhile, on the other side, Jarcopter did kill the Mars once again. So he's 0-4-1. and one. I just wanted to comment on that last team fight. When the boat comes out, you can see the Invoker. He can't even do any damage because of the uh, ghost ship buff but once it starts to run out and you know all that damage is starting to sink in inverse they just have to back off i think they made a little too greedy of a play sticking around trying to go for the invoker as well like it's not that important of a kill at this stage in the game and you can see he's struggling to find impact at the moment oh miggy a fraction of a second away from getting that solo kill on the snapfire but thugger was there with the saves and the heals yeah great tpn with an arcane rune too Duggar is going to need a, a little bit of XP. He's going to ask for this mid lane. Just chill here. I believe uh, Snapfire has taken the tome for herself to get her level 6. Who can she play with? The Mars is 7.5 now though with the yeah. arena. So maybe you want to TP up there, pressure the tower a little bit, then smoke the Mars towards middle. Perhaps get a kill on like a Kunkka before he can get his ghost ship off or while his ghost ship is on cooldown. That Mars, not going into a, a hood or anything like that, not even a bracer, just soul ring phase into Blink Dagger. I was thinking he, he looks a little bit a little bit poor, but he does have lots of little items there that should help him sustain, like the raindrops especially as mid lane. The kisses on top of that Tornado AMP. Great setup by Jamari onto the Kunker. TP in from Sanking's not going to help. They've got a Walrus Punch on the Snapfire, but a cookie over the shards. Ah, oh, nice snowball. Will be able to track back onto a Nothing there the Abad and all the Invoker could do. Mm. The, same, the snap fire. Well, down bottom, Gyro has rotated into the Wraith King's lane with a catapult wave. Jamari's here too. Like raided. They want to defend this and go on to that Gyro. Stun him up to start off. Mars TPing. He'll have Arena ready. Reincarnation, it is there. As this Wraith King just walks straight on forward. Tornado misses though, and with Tusk Ogre both here to bodyguard this Gyro, it looks like a step too far. They'll just go for the Ogre instead. Slaw focused. Abaddon trying to zone back the Tusk, but here's the Kunker with an X mark. A little boat play onto that. Wraith King, first life, gonna drop. Gyro, he's got another rocket barrage, and they've actually isolated Mingata here. They are bad and stunned up, so he can't get any shields off. He's dead, buggered down. And a snowball forward, aggressive from Flax. Four heroes strong, wanting to dive this tier one, but Wraith King and that Lissex Mars, they both retreated into the trees. The TP home, Wraith King's out of there. Snapfire's now TP'd in. That is non-stop brawling in his bottom lane. The X mark chains another catch onto this snap, trying to cookie away. There wasn't a torrent. Still on cooldown. They've just got the right clicks with the tag team and that final shot to block her in. They really wanted, they really wanted Parker so badly there. Just TPing in the race team, the Invoker. They missed a the tornado. They kept chasing, and that was the big turnaround for Inverse. Just be able to X mark. I mean, the Kunkka bolt was back up when he revived. They just go on to this Wraith King. I mean, he's died with his reincarnation again. So they're going to have to be a little bit more careful with uh, where he can farm on the map. And he's rushing this Radiance. He's got Relic 3,000. He's got 3,500 gold, 300 more to Relic. And that this is the opening for Inverse to just full on go out. Yeah, I mean, Jamari. Jamari this this Thugger Abaddon is though. just causing massive issues for Inverse. They're trying to focus that one hero. And that, that one hero is just being saved over and over again by the Abaddon. 
yeah, you can't be killing the hero that's like sitting right in front of a tier one tower because the yeah, Abana can just TP in, shield someone up, and your fight's just over, right? Inverse, they need to smoke and they need to make like the huge wraparound into the triangle area, get a kill there, make Omega just like move out of the tower ranges and then die, and then you go back for the mid tower. Alright, it's relic time. Like you said, he was very and close Parker's to it. Parker's got eggs. Has it delivered? Ooh, eggs gyro. Oh, he's got a little possessed mask as well. Mm-hmm. Both these carries are very farmed. I mean, Parker a little bit more, but I would say once the Radiance hits, that's probably a bigger timing than the Aghanims is. And this smoke Jamari. is huge. Yeah, oh, they the break up small. They see, they see the gyro. That's the target they want to go for. And inside the arena, there is no escape, no save. Good two-man boat with that tornado flying across. They try to disengage, but a cookie onto the ogre. Ooh, doesn't quite land. Ice wall. Will slow his retreat, and Jamari on a killing spree. Inverse still wanting to turn this into an extended fight, though. The spear catching an illusion. Task snowballing, wanting to get onto that snap fire, but the deafening blast pushes them back. Disarms and flags in trouble. The great three man torrent shore, and the epicenter blink. In comes Sankin. There's the counter initiation they were waiting for. Arzen with a double kill, and Jamari. No reveal means he'll slip away and escape. Things could have been so much more worse there Zika. for Omega. Uh, oh, no snap. cookie. <laughs> Down you go. All right. Well, that looks like it was a pretty decent fight for Inverse, considering the Dracopter did die at the start. And uh, if it wasn't for the Sankey Blink Dagger Epicenter, I, I'm pretty sure Omega were going to get away with that big time by killing off the Kunkka as well. Bessel doing so much damage against these strength heroes. He got the Blink just in the nick of time, right? Yeah, it, it really was just on time and came into that mid tier 2 area. He wants to go back out and fight again. But that was like a 4v5, though, you know, really. I mean, Gate has just been farming top lane triangle, and Radiance is, is done, basically. So that timing hit real hard by Omega. While oh, Gyro still needs the BKB to feel particularly strong in these team fights. Well, this Sank's gonna get caught here. Smoke into Burrow Strike. This is what I love about these these drafts, honestly. The, the stuns. You know, the panel saying they're a bit boring, a bit, you know, uh, a bit old. Oh, no, they've got tons of stuns. They've got loads of magical nuke damage. They go into these fights, they blow people up. It's beautiful to watch. And they're going to come and defend their tier one now. That is a Rage yeah, Rage King. 25, though. Not quite Kisses yet, though. Cold Snap. Gyro. They're closing in on him. Parker, snowball saved. They do buy a bit of time for the rest of the Dyer to come back in, but a deafening blast onto four heroes. The call down from Gyro. Uh, it's trying to turn this fight around onto the Wraith King, but they're also tanky with their heals and sustain. They don't even get the Snapfire in the back. ZXC is the still perfectly fine. And they... Yeah, they do. And that's, that's why I was hiding in the trees, waiting for his moment to strike. Tornado onto the Wraith King, but they've all lost Slaw already, focusing the Invoker with a Walrus Punch. But he's a tanky Invoker with Ogre Axe plus that Vessel, so the Tornado to disengage again in that arena. Right on time to find the Sand King, and this game is slipping away for Inverse. Omega grabbed it by the scruff of the neck, and they want this objective in the mid spot, winning a drastic team fight for themselves. They're going to force that Kunker back away as well. Yeah, that's a huge problem for Omega. I mean, sorry, for Inverse. Just having the Jarcopter getting caught out, that Vessel plus Cold Snap, and then the Kisses on top just pretty much destroys him at this stage in the game. He needs a BKB so bad. You know, some kind of a dispel, even a bottled illusion rune would actually save Parker. That's all he needs. He needs one dispel. He doesn't have any real saves apart from the snowball of his team. So when the snowball did come out, though, like they're already surrounding Parker. He's already less than half health and he couldn't really stay in there anymore. That being said, I don't think Omega are really out of the woods yet. They need to continue on with this pressure. They need Invoker to find his next item. Raking to maybe finish up his uh, Blink Dagger and Assange and keep on killing Gyrocopter because once that BKB comes out, it's going to be really scary. Jamari. Oh, all by himself. Yeah, that's what they've got to keep on doing. Find these individual pickoffs when Omega do spread out across the map. It feels like when Omega are together as five, you know, pressing an objective, it is very difficult to match them. Right now, oh, BKB flax. on the no. Oh, flax. no, I was watching that and assuming he was fine, but the shards actually work against him. You made a strong goal, but not much <laughs> the shard in front. 
Okay, okay, we have a we have a conversation in our chat, you know, about Ogre Magi's build, Gary. Okay. With a max um, ignite. Bo Bowie asked, "Why does the Ogre max ignite against Abba?" And Tres says he hates this build so much. Okay, so I think the theory behind the max ignite. I've watched a lot of Ogre players, and max ignite is surprisingly the only real way to have an Ogre scale in a game, because. The ignite when it procs as well and it goes on to like creep waves it actually kills the creep waves so you can get extra gold too now as someone who's not playing the ogre okay i understand he has eight last hits right now i get it and he's not like utilizing it okay <laughs> but most of the time guys that's how it works okay because if you ma like when you're not playing ogre you want your ogre to be maxi stun because you want that extra damage on your stun and on the procs and multicast and whatever but it, it, with just one level of Fire Blast, you still get the same amount of procs. You still get the same amount of stun duration. You just don't have that extra damage in the early game. Yeah, isn't it more DPS from Ignite as well, anyway? Like, if you catch two heroes with that eight second duration? Oh yeah, definitely. But I don't, I don't he's, he's asking, like, why is it good? Why, why do you go to this build against Abaddon, right? Because he can just remove the Ignite. Well, can't Abaddon just remove the Fire Blast? Like, doesn't the same argument apply? Well... When he's removing the fire blast, he's not removing the damage though, because the damage comes instantly. Okay. Where ignite is like enough. you remove the damage and the effect of the spell. But, but then ignite I... goes onto multiple people. You can only remove it from one of them. That's true. Very true. <laughs> We're having an point. argument with someone who isn't here, and it feels really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I I see the value in it. They're gonna catch Miggy. They lost the ogre in that jungle, and now that Kunker, he's, he's, he's got BKB, but just never had a chance to use it. Immediately speared up and killed. Now the Gyro, does he have BKB? Marcus, BKB is here. I believe it's come on the Curry. It turns with his BKB in the epicenter from Sand King. The turnaround they've been waiting for. Gyro stands his ground and hits into them. Mars down. Mingati reincarnates. He wants the Gyro. Red Fire Blast. The Radiance Burn. He should be able to save finish off Parker. Parker. All the backup. The Sand King doesn't save him. Gyro down. The boat does crash onto that Mangate Wraith King, but he's got so much hits and crits with a life steal. Stays alive for a second longer. But Ming Miggy with his BKB brought back to return to battle. And they've got the turret on the Invoker. Four heroes down. They lose their Gyro and the Ogre, but all worth it for that buyback. All worth it. As Miggy comes in and saves the fight. Well, I mean, I guess Miggy did buy back, but. It was still good, just some, the sheer amount of XP and gold Inverse were able to get off this fight. Zika's also dead. Ah, it's a full wipe here. And you, like, we talked about it earlier. The power of this buyback, uh, sorry, this BKB of the Gyrocopter is going to be so good. So they get the Kunkka kill, and they're chasing Gyro. Gyro's BKB comes on the courier. Look at this right there. You can see him flying in. Too bad he yes. lost half his health. And the Epicenter comes out, and Kunkka's like, oh, hold on, guys. This looks like a good fight. Let me actually buy back now. And he TP's in onto the shrine, but the Gyrocopter, you know, they still find that cold snap and the vessel onto him and uh, ends up killing him off. But also putting the Invoker a little bit out of position so that they can just turn around and bring him down too. Maybe Inverse, once they're alive, I would like to see like an instant smoke and try to get to this rating because that was just a level two reincarnation. But um, the window is very tight though. They had to spend some time pushing lanes out, I suppose. But if they were thinking about that earlier, like before the Jarcopter revived, and then they smoked as soon as Jar was alive, they could have got away with another kill on Wraith King. Yeah, maybe picking him off and then, you know, looking towards the tier one mid lane would have been a good little push too. And this this BKB timing, you know, has been something the inverse were desperately scrambling towards. Now they've hit it, looking pretty good in these mm -hmm. fights. Invoker does pick up his own one though. Jamari, Brown Boots, Vessel, Black King Bar. Very... Uh, very sick, sort of focused item build. Not going Midas or Travels or anything. He goes to walk up towards top. He spots out Slaw's Ogre, forces a TP onto the outpost. Tusk and that Kunker both coming in, and a Yule Scepter from Arzen actually going to catch the Invoker. Unfortunately, doesn't seem synchronized with his team with that torrent play, so Jamari is able to BKB, Deafening Blast, and Ice Wall. Where, where's the rest of the Radiant? That's the big question. The Kisses finally coming. Wraith King's TPing top lane, but the fight breaks down and nobody really wants to continue. Yeah, I mean, huge for them. 
you can't really chase the invoker too hard either, especially with that BKB being activated. And then you're gonna have the Abaddon who can follow up. You know, going into the high gun, into the darkness is very scary. And Wraith King Skellies is still down bottom. Let's see if they can, can actually push that bot wave. Yeah, a bit of map space for them as Wraith King himself is sat in that mid lane. It looks if like they're ready to, to actually go for the mid tower too on inverse side. And look at uh, Parker's build. He's going for the Satanic next. I love this. I think this is exactly what he should do because everyone on Omega just keeps focusing him. But at some point in this game, I feel like they're going to run out of damage. So the Satanic on Parker, even while he's stunned up, he's going to be able to life steal thanks to that side gunner. And that's what he's got to do. He's got to be this tanky guy who can sustain himself because he doesn't have any saves on his allies. That being said, I would love to also see a Yules coming out from inverse side because that would really destroy Omega's like kill potential in fights. Yeah, they've got they've got one on the Sand King. Maybe another one could be good as not, well. Sorry, not Yules. Uh, did I say Yules? Why did I say Yules? Yeah. Um, Lotus Orb. That's what Lotus I want. Orb. To say. Oh, that'd be good. Lotus yeah, Orb. Get the dispel yes. going. Exactly. Yeah, dispel if, for your carry. Like if the Jaro, you know, BKB's early and wants to Satanic afterwards. Jamari could hold on to that Spear Vessel charge. And yeah, like I say, Lotus Orb would be great for them. It's Flax. Gets caught up with that chain stun from the Radiant and burnt all his mana. So no snowball with a great arena catching Miggy. Gets speared up, forced to BKB at half health. Inverse trying to retreat not away from fight. this one. Yeah, they do not want to get bogged down in that one. Not only do you not have your Tusk alive here, you also don't have vision. Oh, Miggy. Oh, the Kunker with no BKB. Jamari, Ice Wall. They burn strike the Invoker. Kisses are coming. Oh, boy, it's a very Jamari. long range. It's not going to catch the Kunker. Jamari, he's got a ditch. Wraith King under this tier 3 tower. He's focusing Miggy the Kunker. That's going to be a long, long death as he bought back previously. Now 90 seconds on the sidelines while Reincarnation is popped. They try to go on that Wraith King again. Yeah, with that Gyra BKB, but Mingate has one himself. Still so turn, stun, slaw, about to die to that God's Rebuke of Mars. Invoker returning, wanting to catch. Gyra with no BKB. Could be danger time for Parker, but they blink Borrow back onto Mars. They kill off the Snapfire too, but Parker, he's stuck there. War a sponge on Jamari though, gets the Gyro a triple kill. And Wraith King, can he finish this job? The shards block them out. out. Gyro's back to high ground. Migati now against the world. Arzen and Flax focusing on the Thuggers of Baden. Oh my god, the battle of the ages. Migati, he's desperate for it. He needs so more slow. out of this. They expended the so shard. much, but the, the sigil, <laughs> the sigil slowing him. The Wraith Fire Blast, a few hits here on the Flax. The snowball, it will delay the inevitable death of the Tusk. Wait. The Rage's Burn should finish him off, but in comes Parker again. Look who's back. But Migati has Look reincarnation. <laughs> They need the Tusk to buy back. Call down a rocket barrage. Go to work. Mingati with a TP. The snowball isn't going slow with a fire blast. It's the yeah. Ogre that arrives. The level Here one fire blast. Stuns. The level one fire blast saves it. There is the game. That's all you need. All you need is that level one fire blast. And you've got the Wraith King. I mean, that that was that looks such such a good fight for uh, Inverse the whole time. Even though the Kunkka was getting dove on the high ground, I think Jamari made a huge mistake in making that play happen. It really put his team out of position and exposed to Inverse. I'm surprised they even got away with uh, killing the Kunkka in the end, because that was really close. It was. Now they found Lissex in that Radiant Triangle. Flax turned on with the Arena Spear. It looks like Jamari also got stunned up yeah, by a homing missile. He wanted to try and re-enter. Couldn't find that avenue as inverse. They wander into the Roche pit. You know, Wraith King dead for 30 seconds. A nice window for them just to take Aegis. Yeah, and that last engagement allowed Parker to finish his Satanic as well. So he's got DD Satanic going right now. They just got to get this Roche. They want to contest Forget this. Forget about everything else. Get the Aegis Roshan's about to die. Yeah, he grabs it up. Aegis on Parker. Now, a badden. Stuck in between four dire heroes. Sun uh, Burrow Strike, not Sun Strike, sorry. Jimari does get caught by Arzen. Kunker can't follow through with any X Mark or Torrent. But Cookie now strike. it looks like Cookie Strike, yeah. <laughs> Map control the for, for inverse. Yeah, I mean, that was just Omega trying to do something with that Roshan being taken. There was still like 20 seconds left with the Wraith King to respawn. They had no real chance to take that fight anyway. But. They just give up the abandon, they also waste their kisses, and inverse look like they're completely in the driver's seat now. That was just the first Roshan, so there's no shard or anything like that. 
but it's good enough for uh, Inverse to be able to just control this map up, get the tier 2 towers, and I do feel like this Gyrocopter is unkillable now. Oh, he feels that way. You know? like, like, going for not Crystal's because... Next. What, it just dropped his treads? What is that? Oh, it tried to drop something. Okay. It, it's not even yeah. because of the Aegis, but just because he has that Satanic now. It doesn't cost any mana. And then he's got the Side Gunner with it too. Plus, it can dispel the uh, Cold Snap. It can dispel the Spear That's Vessel right. off of him. This is, this is such a beautiful item for Jarcopter in this game. I keep forgetting they added that dispel to it. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Every time he does get caught out, just pop the satanic. Yep. Don't need to waste your BKB charges. Lissex, very deep here. Not entirely sure what he was up to, but Inverse will find him and take Cutting him down. Waves, I guess. Spends the arena, spears. He, he, he can't blink away from this though, can he? Can he? Oh, he's going to try and TP. Mm. He's dead. They need, you know what they need on Omega? They need more stuns. They need like a Abyssal Blade from the Wraith King. They need Hex from the Invoker. They, they don't have sufficient lockdown. All they really have is like Arena, Spear, Invoker doesn't really provide any solid disables. Mingate is caught too. I he's think he's going to die. Twice. Uh, he's got BKB though. He's gonna make some distance here. Oh, the shards. shards? Where's the punch? TP? He, he doesn't have. Wait, no. he doesn't have blink. Right, he went for Flexes the. Uh, miles away. Yeah. Well, that's really rough because he should have just walked up the high ground there. They do have vision control, and he had the punch ready. I feel like he's probably hitting hitting himself in the head right now for not being there, ready to cancel that TP out from the Wraith King. Yeah, because there's some good shards. Probably could have been a second kill on the Wraith King. Mm -hmm. uh, regardless what it's, you know, reincarnation expended, you're kind of forcing Megate away from defending this tier two, which maybe Omega would have wanted to do. So it opens up a, a completely free objective for you. And you can swing into mid with a massive catapult wave arriving at that secondary well, target. He's got a fresh DD though. It looks like he has intentions of just hitting this tier three and seeing how Fair Omega reacts. Can we see a tornado to remove this DD? Yep, it's up in one second. Here we go. It better hit it. He needs to hit that tornado. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chuck the spells at him. Yeah. Get rid of it. He made sure he uses Cold Snap first so the tornado will guarantee land. Because that's how important removing that DD would have been right there. Because if that was still up, I think we would have seen uh, Parker just commit to that tower. There's no point in, in the gyro BKBing for that to get a few more hits in, is there? Like he's, he's down no. to six seconds already. He wants yeah, it definitely for the next not. Because then you're you're giving up your whole fight potential to maintain this DD, which won't matter yeah. if you just get stunned up. Radiance middle tower is under attack. That's true. Right. Well, I can just come back into that mid which they set up for themselves. Mm -hmm. It was a very good use of this first Aegis here, I would say, Gary. Like just taking all the tier two towers and building up your net worth a little bit. Omega have been farming very quickly though. They are keeping up only behind by like 4,000 gold, which at 32 minutes into the game is essentially nothing. Yeah, I mean, Wraith King's been set up that top lane. They, they ping him out now, but he's already TP'd away. A couple of couriers there for the Rage Secret Shop. Well, there's a Wraith King one and a Gyro one. The Gyro is bringing out that Daedalus, which is completed. Mm -hmm. And they just you know, built up this little base camp in the Radiant Triangle. Yeah, just, just maintain stuff. Your age is about to run out in 10 seconds. Inverse are going to start having more uh, defensive positions on the map. Maybe baiting out the Gyrocopter a little bit more. Slaw. There is a word here, though. Oh, oh Arzen! So I mean, he missed that stun. He missed that stun anyway. Lissex. Gets away with it. Slips away from danger. And yeah, now Jimari realizing, hey, I can push this bot wave a little bit more with my Forge Spirits. I've nearly got my yeah. Scythe of Ice that you were looking for. Halfway towards the Void it Stone. Arzen is doing so well, actually. Like, we haven't really noted the Sanking that much in this game, but this Vanguard build is doing work, I must say. He hasn't had too many deaths. I've seen so many games with Allflame Sanking just beating so much. But I feel like this Vanguard has given him more confidence, more tank ability, and Omega yeah. haven't really focused him down in these fights because they realize that he is tanky.
He's got more HP, more damage reduction. What he needs right now is that armor item. That Lotus Orb would be so sweet to balance his stats. Yeah, because I feel like the past couple of Sand Kings we've seen have kind of gone Tranquil's Bottle Blink Dagger because oh, either God. their lane yeah. hasn't, like, hasn't gone very well or they feel they need yeah. that blink as soon as possible. But then, yeah, like you say, you lose out on the scaling potential, the ability to stay exactly. in these team fights. Tranquil Boots Sand King, that's the biggest. Yeah. Feels bad. Ooh. Puke. It feels real bad. Gag. <laughs> it's like, you know you're just signing away your game. It just sucks so much. Yeah, it's, it's basically just all inning on that on that blink dagger. The next few initiations for you are incredibly vital. Abaddon getting stunned up with that blink initiation from Sand King, so Boratan's going to be forced down incredibly early. The kisses into the arena, though. That nukes ours and down, and the new BKB from Mars. Chasing back Tusk. Gyro's on top of the snap fire. Trying to get to the tornado there as an X mark on the snap. It'll drag her back. The shards have blocked the tusk away from the Wraith King. So ZXC, the secondary casualty. Jamari's got another hex. He still has his BKB up on Miggy if he wants to use it. Jamari going to go to walk away. They dust as the Abaddon looks to escape. Some shards there not catching Jamari. But a snowball will get on top of the Abaddon. Punch and stun. Multicast will get the job done. On to Thugger. So two supports for your off lane. Mm -hmm. But a mid lane creep wave that's miles away from Radiant Base, top and bottom both being pushed by Radiant Cores as well. So a pretty, pretty even fight with no real results out of it. So we can we can learn a lot from that engagement though, right? Because the Sanking jumped first, and he instantly died. And all they really used, I guess, was the two BKBs on the arena. But they were outnumbering inverse. But then Omega, they couldn't fight anymore, even though they had five heroes up and they just speak a on cooldown. Like, Inverse's fight potential is much better right now. And if the Sanking is not the first one to die, then I can't imagine how Omega need to jump to make it possible for them to come out ahead and, like, kill multiple heroes. They would probably need to get the Gyrocopter hexed up and bursted during that hex duration. Plus, he has to be alone. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest factor. And it also feels like Omega kind of want very long team fights, you know, multiple cycles of invoker spells, you know, catch catch a couple of heroes inside that arena with kisses, sure, but comparative to Inverse, where they kind of just bloodlust the gyro, jump in, and burst Got people it. down like this, they make a move on to Mingate. EMP Tornado zones them back, Thugger. He's gonna have to save his Wraith King here. Borrow time, already being forced to spear back on the gyro. They get on top of Parker, but he still has BKB Satanic, and he can turn around and fight if he wants. And there's the blink in with the epicenter Borrow strike. Jimari down inside the torrent storm of Kunka and Wraith King burst by the gyro. Reincarnation will bring him back to life. Force that BKB TP. Where's the Tusk? He's gone for a wander. He's, He's on miles the other away side. again. He's on the other side, trying to chase down the snap <laughs> and the Mars of that blink. Burrow onto Thugger. We'll get them. That bonus kill on Abaddon, while Roshan has respawned, but five heroes alive feels like they can go high ground as inverse right now. Yeah, there's nothing that's going to stop the Jarcopter, especially with the Invoker being dead. His Hex, Tornado, is what was stalled into Jarcopter earlier, and now there's nothing to worry about. Well, Spear, catching Sand King, Gotta and he yields. yields is out. Doesn't care about the stunts or the stuns anymore, and a three-hero nice bar strike, beautifully placed. Now buy back on the snap by now, but Mingate, he's gonna lose that reincarnation, isn't he? Oh, shielded up, saved, Axmon back into that torrent again. First life down, scatter blast with that Agnim shard upgrade, pushing Flax against the barracks. A little shredder there, Tusk is gonna drop, but look at the gyro just running forward. The real vanguard of the out. flight. Frontlining and they wanting his melee right barracks now. desperately, get the building and run, finish it with a side gunner and get out. Disengage quickly, scanner blast in with a spear as well. Stuns onto the gyro for days, but a torrent storm. The chaos created by Miggy finds Wait, another two Invoker kills. TPing? They're dead for 70 seconds. Invoke a TP bottom to the outpost. Oh no, that's a long TP. Omega, they just wanted to jump because they want to hold those heroes in place while the Invoker is reviving. But the Invoker TP to the outpost, and then the Mars and Snapfire just died in a matter of seconds because the Jar Copter deals so much damage with the Side Gunner and Daedalus. And Roshan is up. I I'm not so sure how much Omega can do with just three heroes. Oh, but he has a BKB and a bow. He does. Uh, can they kill him off oh, before he uses again. it? They absolutely can't. It's a, it's a borrow strike from Arzen and they're just shutting down every fight from Omega and Mingate. What is he going to do again? Reincarnate and BKB? Try and TP home? That's been his plan the past four fights. 
This time he can't TP though. So it's a BKB and run back, but chased down by this Kunker Gyro, another blink, Borrow Strike, catch the Wraith King. And he's going to be dead for quite a while, a minute and a half, unless he wants to spend that massive buyback. They also yeah. break, they break down the Abaddon. So now Roshan, back we go. Did he just die to like a rocket or something that turned for the Abaddon? I didn't see. Okay, anyway. Yeah, they're going to get a free Roshan here. That's a shard. Okay. And Gyrocopter wants a shard? Really? <laughs> it's Parker. What do you expect? Oh, oh, okay. Thugger, please come back. Well, he's dead for 50 seconds. Doesn't really make a difference, right? I swear this shard is like one of the worst shards. <laughs> I mean, uh, the, almost all the shards in the game are like pretty good, but I feel like that one is not that good. I think giving this shard to like Ogre Magi or something would be amazing because then he can give you this damage or reduction shield thing onto you plus it can multicast and your whole team can have the fire shield it's so nice it's actually a really really good shard the fire yeah, it shield is. it's a deep it, it makes your team tankier like why not especially when you've got you know boat you've got this satanic bkb just make mm -hmm. them completely unkillable yeah i see gyro and, he's, he's, oh, he dropped it Yep, you've made the argument, Slaw's made the argument, give it to the Ogre. <laughs> Are they going to go tier 4s here? Yeah, it looks like that's the plan. Yep. Try and force the buyback of the Wraith King at the very least. A little bit risky, but I guess they've got Aegis, they've got Cheese, lots of backup plans and contingency there for them, and the buyback from Engate, it is forced. And they don't even move. They don't even move the Mars Arena. It comes down in with a kiss and a triple meatball. They've taken down Slaw. The Ogre's gone, sure, but still he's with a satanic. Disarm Gyro, yeah, he's got Aegis in that Daedalus. He pops out with a nice little flat side gunner there, healing him up. They'll take out his first life. I mean, Gante focusing on to Miggy now, the Kunker. He doesn't have any of those backup items. Parker's stuck up on the high ground now. He's got BKB and Cheese. The Disarm again, though. This Halberd going to work onto the Gyrocopter. They've completely ruined his chances of fighting. Omega, the defense of the throne. They're going to go back on the Gyrocopter. In come the stuns, though. Slaw and the Snowball. Find Jamari. No buyback on the Invoker. And now we see the strength. Of that fire shield on Gyro, stands his ground, Trick, Ultra Kill comes out, he Parker, flat cannons them all down Parker, and they're going to give him the rampage, Parker, Parker, Parker come on, take the big give man down, him. Wraith King's first life gone, and they're going to have it, they're going to have it, the timing is right, yeah, get the happy. rampage on the Gyro, Mingate, they're going to call GG, they bring him in for the Parker, final touch. Parker, Parker, he's done it, Parker has their demons though, he's won a game, he comes back to the team, yeah, he uh, gets a rampage, carries the game. He actually really did carry this game hard. Starting from the laning stage, uh, he got a few like awkward deaths when uh, he didn't have his BKB, but then that was also the timing of the Invoker with the Spear Vessel, and his team doesn't really have any saves either. But then he slowed the game down, he farmed his BKB, had that big turnaround top, he did die for it, but then after that, he played like a really clean game. Uh, good decision making on Roshan, went to fight, went to click his spells. So uh, very spot on. And inverse, again, like they, they keep upsetting everybody. You know, we know that their MMR is not as high as most of their opponents. And it goes to show like MMR is just a number when it comes to these team games. So uh, very well played from inverse. And I would just like to mention to the panel before you hand it back over that this ogre's net worth like just and just note the ogre's net worth note <laughs> how he scaled in this game right uh -huh. i don't know what it is i've studied so many ogre games but that level one fire blast like maxing out the ignite first even against the counter might be the real way to actually scale on this hero and not be a blah blah spot yeah ten thousand net worth compared with the other supports what 8k 8k 5k he, he was he was the, the richest of the supports yeah and just quickly on the numbers that that gyrocopter performance wise you know killing off the mars a couple of times in that top lane alone 23 and 14 